Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Hemker Meta Tutorials. In this tutorial, we show you how to create a Harry Potter logo. Um, what comes out of clouds? Um, we did this with with um, Adobe After Effects CS6 and Adobe Photoshop CS6. So we start um, by open Photoshop and go on File and on New. High definition settings. All right, we start to type in a text, Harry Potter. All right, click two times on the layer. Now, go on Bevel and Emboss and go on Chisel Heart. Depth, uh, 90, size, 200 so um now 40 degrees and here 40 degrees too and here on gloss contour click here and then click once on it and move it a bit all right that's good and anti aliased so now we're gonna screen and linear burn both on 100 persons. So um, now we go on contour, anti laced and on 45 percent. So um, all right. Go on texture and on rock patterns. Do it again. Not just this one. Uh, 39 and plus 13. So uh, you see it looks a bit uh, too um, black, so we can change it a bit for example play a bit with this and maybe another 100 of course you can do everything what you want what you uh, you can do everything what looks like Harry Potter all right now go on radiant overly Uh, now it looks better. Now we choose a light blue or a darker blue. And here, a light blue. Alright. It's a bit strong now. Alright, this looks pretty good. So the depth you can put on 202, that looks better then. Alright, here we're on maybe 90. Yeah, so this looks much better now. Alright, now, um, we're gonna click OK. Uh, delete the background layer. Go on File. Save us. So I'm gonna save it now on the tutorials. Alright, in PNG. Harry Potter logo. All right, now it's safe. And now we don't need Photoshop anymore. Save it already. So, and now we have to get an image of a cloudy, uh, of a cloudy sky. Yeah, 
power. I'd take this one now. Alright, save it uh, here. Alright. When it's downloaded, you can um, open Adobe After Effects and put the uh, picture with the clouds into Photoshop. Now we're gonna create a new composition. Um, let's make it uh, 10 seconds. Yeah, a definition and 24 frame rate, like in a movie. So now we gonna uh, open the picture we just created and drag it into After Effects. All right now, we drag everything into After Effects. All right, here are trees, but we can make it that you can't see it anymore. Like this. All right. And now, I'll transform and on scale. We click on the watch and drag this to 10 seconds. Click on it, press shift, or oh, not shift, and zoom a bit in. So now there's a little move in it. All right, now we can drag in the Harry Potter logo. All right, it's better quality than the background, but you can, of course, you can download a high definition background. All right, first we don't need it. All right, um, now you're gonna copy it and with the pen tool, you're gonna uh, yeah, cut out some uh, clouds. And now on mask feather and on, on pixels and I can move and now you get a cloud here of course you can like on 30 looks better all right now the anchor point uh, must be in the middle of it and we can move it better all right, and now, all right, we can turn out the feather a bit on 50. And now we go on scale uh, with the watch two, and then go to 10 minutes. like this so now the opacity zero percent and click on the watch and here 100 percent or you don't have to make it so high so 50 percent looks better for a cloud all right uh 50 percent too the here comes a keyframe, 50%, and here, zero, or 100 if you want. So, um, now, or also 50, your choice. And now there's a cloud that you fly through. Of course, you can make it a bit faster. So, and this you can do now with uh, many many pictures so opacity 
the other person like right here now you can move here it starts maybe the scale delete this keyframe so put it in here and then here so um and here's the keyframe to now all right um and that you can do with many many clouds now so now you still got a cloudy background first you can make it right here so um in the end we put in some color correction so that the clouds are darker like in Harry Potter and now are the Harry Potter is still in and look we turn it on the clouds are above it Let's see that's the good thing all right we make it that it is small first transform scale keyframe drag it to the end Now you can see. All right, it's a bit fast now. But of course, we can put it back right here. All right, now we can play it. Right, it's a bit fast. And here too. All right, now. All right, now it's good. Okay. So um now you can copy the clouds and put it right here put it back so that always are clouds here. Alright now we're gonna click a right click new and a adjustment layer. Now we gonna um click on color correction and on curves we play a bit with it all right we're at down blue up so now we can um hue saturation so that it isn't so good in front of Alright, it's a bit saturated. Alright, now you can see the clouds are a bit darker. Of course, we can do it more darker. Alright, um. Brightness and contrast, brightness. Alright, now you see Harry Potter, like in the movie, it's not the best, but uh, of course you can change a bit now. For example, more clouds, you can cut out it, but I can't do it now because I got very much time. Alright, the only thing I can show you now is uh, the opacity here on 0%. 
and here um, maybe 100 so that it really comes out of the clouds all right I'm gonna run right now and so it looks like of course you can do it much better now yeah now it's a bit fast of course you can right here another text uh, for example if you do a spell fight by yourself or made a Harry Potter film by yourself you can do this all right um, I play now all right like this it now yeah it's a bit fast now but um, you can do it better all right I hope you like this video and hope you rate and comment and yeah, and even sub subscribe us. All right, um, now you can of course um, export it uh, at your render queue. And now the settings and everything, and now the space, and then you click on render. Yeah, and the color correction you can do in another way too. All right, but I hoped um, that you enjoyed this video and that I could explain you the basics. Uh, of course, you can do it much detailer and yeah. All right. Good. Until to the next video then.